it is uh, Tuesday morning and I was able to finish planting the full season Milo. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. Um, I thought I was going to get done last night, but I had some trouble uh, with the GPS signal. Um, that field there is in the middle of nowhere, and sometimes you can lose all signal whatsoever. And so, got it. it was working fine this morning, so I finished. Um, and then I am pulling the fertilizer trailer home with the pickup. So shout out to this pickup for being able to pull a semi trailer. Uh, although it's it's not it's not loaded full of fertilizer anymore. I, I planted it all out. So I'm gonna pull this home, and then for the, for uh, the next couple hours, I'm gonna go replant some beans. So we are done with full season planting. Um, but I'm gonna go uh, replant some beans that got flooded out by all that rain and then uh, we will start on double crop uh, behind the wheat and uh, the rest of the family is still running full blast with wheat harvest today uh, we're over two-thirds done now so making really good progress on wheat harvest um, but we're definitely definitely still got a lot of work to do with the planting and um, there's a chance of rain tonight and and uh, we want the rain it is officially the time of year where we want all the rain we can get. It is so hot and windy in June and July in Kansas. We always want these rains, so it can stop harvest. That's okay. double cropping this afternoon when his seed comes in. All right, the farthest field west that we harvest is all gone, and I'm about to meet another grain cart on the road, I think. I see they're, oh, they're turning, uh, they're turning the same direction I am. I guess I'll be following them, not meeting them. 
This field is over here by this beautiful church. That's always fun to drive by in uh, Salemsburg. Field. It is uh, 6 p.m. So I finished finished planting and then I finished replanting. Well, I almost finished replanting. It's not quite done. But one of our better fields of wheat again. We kind of keep alternating between our good wheat and our poor wheat. Um, and again, good this year is is average most you know most years. It's not it's nothing fancy, but it's it's decent. And. Uh, I think my father-in-law is going to come uh, fly the drone again. Um, earlier in this video, you saw Evan uh, baling straw, and I flew the drone for him. I, I went and helped him uh, change net wrap, so um, I had some time to fly the drone then, or I was in between planting and replanting. Um, but when I'm out here in the harvest field, when I'm out here in the combine, um, unless my wife is here to steer the combine for me while I fly the drone, which now that we have a newborn, it's it's made that a little more difficult. I really, I'm really not able to, to fly the drone during wheat harvest. So uh, my father-in-law is gonna come out and, and fly his. So we should get some more awesome footage. took of the grain cart coming to unload was maybe 15 minutes ago and all of a sudden the clouds are rolling in the thunderstorm is building uh, the weather app still says it's not gonna hit us but it kind of looks like it's coming this way I would be very happy with the rain we have put so many acres planting into the ground that I would be overjoyed with the rain even if it stops wheat harvest We've gotten the majority of the wheat cut, so I hope it rains, but uh, the weather says it's not, but it looks like it. They've been looping trucks around here, shuttling them through. There was about eight trucks in line here whenever I came. There's one truck pulling in behind me, um, but they trying to keep everybody moving. It means lots of dust. There's another one coming out. I'm waiting on mom and I'll switch her, take her truck back to the yard. Here's the meal Kalen brought out today. Tromboli. That storm's still rolling in. Well, they have bumped it up to a 90% chance of rain now, and um, we are in a severe thunderstorm warning. It's heading right for us. So, um, I told you. I told you it was going to rain, even though the weather didn't say it would. It's going to. Dad had to fuel up talk about bad timing so he's fueling up but we should get this knocked out we just have to get this little bit left okay it's getting crazy it's it's probably gonna rain real hard we've got my father-in-law here again there's the drone we've just got a down back down back left I don't know what dad's doing over there hurry up
look how low these clouds are. This is very freaky weather. The wind's picked way up now and oh we got raindrops. Oh my goodness! Kendall, come get me! Oh, we were so close. We had it down and back. Dad shouldn't have fueled up. I'm gonna give him a hard time for that one. So we were bringing supper to the field and there was a slight chance of rain and then all of a sudden the storm grew and the red came right for us and now it's hailing on us. <laughs> so I think they finished this field, I'm not 100% sure. They were really, really close. So we're just sitting here waiting for Kendall. <gasps> what do you think girls? <laughs> this is terrible, terrible wind. This window doesn't work right. Oh my goodness. They're still out there. Looks like looks like they got people out of the combine now, so that's good. I think we're all in vehicles. Okay, so I brought my mom's vehicle back home. The corn is sure happy with the rain. Um, I am soaked. I'm sure Greg and Dad are soaked. And anyone else who tried to walk from vehicle to vehicle. That was quite the adrenaline rush. <laughs> yes, I'm soaked. I don't know what you did with these kids in here and it started raining. You texted me, uh, oh, I think the cell's gonna miss us. And I did not, that was I did the not really believe no, you. No, that was the first That was the first cell. There was two different storms, one small one and one big one. The big I, one? I saw it red over by Ellsworth and it was becoming a wall and I was driving home from... Yeah, the big storm started growing and then Brickanna and I were standing outside with all three kids and then we were like, it just got really cold and windy. And then we were like, we need to get yeah. the kids inside the cars and thankfully I got them in here before it started hailing. Mm, that's good. <laughs> so now we'll go home and have some We supper. had like five acres left of that field, if not even more. I thought maybe you guys finished. I couldn't see all the way over there. from. This is uh, great rain for all the plants that are growing in it. Prepares, softens up the wheat stubble to put in double crop too. Woo! Yeah. All right, so here's a pause on wheat harvest for now. Yeah. A rain like that that comes just out of nowhere and dumps on certain fields, that's exactly why you push hard in a Kansas wheat harvest. All right, so the storm is still off to the north from where Nathan and I were uh, replanting beans. And it is sprinkling here, but we're gonna try to replant a little bit that field we were harvesting wheat in got like over an inch and it's only five miles north of here five miles here it uh we still got dry ground but it is sprinkling and there's still a chance of rain for the rest of the night we're gonna try to get this replanted a little bit i don't know this this got flooded out you can see there's bare spots we don't really know what to do here all right i got all the replanting done and uh, there's another storm coming now. The black is behind me. I'm only about uh, two, three miles from the farm to get this thing in the shed. All right, it is Wednesday morning and the beans are drinking up a rain. We had a half inch overnight and it's raining again this afternoon. So we are taking the day off. And also we're having our porch uh, demolished well, it wasn't a porch before, it was just steps. But uh, we're having having a new porch put on we're pretty excited about. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out our music videos linked in the description. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, and explore our website, www.petersonfarmbrothers.com. See you guys next time.